This is the talk show that takes a no-holds-barred approach to politics, where truth and integrity are the standard and the Constitution honored. From Renaissance Studios, this is Champion News Talk Radio. Welcome to another great edition of Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net, and we are your choice for the conservative voice. This is Carol Parisi. Today, our founder, Jack Roser, and myself have the famous Bill Zettler, the author of the book, the epic 301-page book, The Illinois Pension Scam. He's, which, he's the author. He wrote this thing. Which is forwarded by you, Jack. I wrote the, the uh, forward, yeah. My mother told me, Jack, you're too forward. And, uh, so it was perfect. <laughs> but uh, Bill here really did, a, he'd written about 150 articles on the subject of uh, the school system, the K-12 system, uh, salaries and pensions. And uh, I made one of the smarter moves of the year and asked him to turn it into a book, which he did. And uh, he doesn't brag about things much, but you can crack open Illinois pension scam anywhere as I just did and uh, go in and start reading that thing and you'll find what you're reading is a short story and a very interesting one and gives huge significance to all of the tables of uh, salaries and pensions that support what he's saying in here. So it's God's truth, illuminated by his Bill Zettler. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, it's Sunday morning and folks are going to church. I don't know if we go that far. It's God's truth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now, uh, now you know. 301 pages, and uh, a lot of people uh, have told me they couldn't put this book down. It's not boring. It's got a really big message, and uh, it's very significant to find out what's in it. But but Jack and Bill, I mean, pensions, really? I mean, what's the big deal? Who cares? Why is Everybody this? should care. But why? Because, why? well, it matters to your pocketbook and your kids. How does it affect sure. my pocketbook? I'm not paying these people's well, pensions. as Bill shows in many places here, and he's uh, trumped it out, uh, all over the state of Illinois, the average is $16,000 per child to educate them in K-12. $16,000. Supposing you had 20 kids in a class, add it up, that's over $300,000. Uh, for for world-class learners. For, <laughs> well, for 20 kids in the class. Uh, uh, when my son went to a Catholic school, there were 55 kids in class. Uh, when I went to a public school in Chicago many years ago, uh, they typically had 30 to 40 kids in a classroom. Today, they have much less than that, and they're doing a much worse job. So the taxpayer uh, takes it right in the wallet, the kids that take it right in the head, because those schools stink. Uh, the, the curriculum results in people that don't know how to do arithmetic, they don't read well, and they aren't informed about their country. They're misinformed about a bunch of junk. Our schools are a big waste of the taxpayers' money, stem to stern. And that's true even up in the fancy suburbs, which charge uh, their taxpayers a lot more than $16. You found some, what, 28, 30, Bill? 28 or 30. 28 or, or 30. $1,000 $1, per child? For yes. Oh, yeah. What the, schools? The, oh, uh, like uh, Lake Forest, uh, uh, Winnetka, those kind of the, the North Shore schools. But you know what? We're talking about pensions. What does pensions have to do with education? <laughs> and why does this affect the average person. Why does this pension affect the average person here in Illinois? What, what, why? The average teacher, when they retire, will end up making more money in retirement than they did when they worked. So if you think you're paying a lot of taxes while they work, you're paying even more taxes to pay them when they stop working. But why does that affect, why are we paying taxes? Where does that come from? <laughs> well, for the, for, the state, for the state pensions, that comes out of the state funds, the state general funds. So that's sales tax, personal income tax, and uh, corporate tax. That pays for the pensions. And this year, the pensions are about 25% of the budget for the state. So we're spending 25% of our money to pay people who don't work anymore, and that's going to go up by 50% in the next two years. It'll be $12 billion in in 2015. It's, it's, it's unsustainable. It's it cannot unsustainable. be paid. We can't pay it now, if you notice. 
Now they want to borrow $4 billion more to pay what they were supposed to pay with the $4 billion they borrowed two years ago. So we keep borrowing money that we don't have to pay people that aren't working. Yes. <laughs> and, and to not pay. That's well put. That is well put. And yeah. we're not paying for those who truly need the help. Those people are being cut. The pensions are going up. The $440,000 check to the highest pensioner, that check goes Say out that every again, month. Bill, that $440,000 a year is the top state have pension. Have you slid the decimal point over in your dirty tricks there? No, it's not a dirty that's, trick. That's 440, almost, almost a half a million dollars a year. Half a million, Bill. And that check goes out every single month. Do, do pensions get taxed? Pensions do not get taxed in the uh, state, no. no so the no state, state is not even getting paid a, a, an, income, a, an income tax for these pensions. That is Because it is an income, if you will. Yeah, it certainly is income. Boy, this is, uh, this is quite a, uh, that's, that's a gravy four, train. That's $400 million a year we're not getting that we should be getting. Well, you sent me an article yesterday, and it's about states that are in a death spiral. And clearly, Illinois is a death spiral state. Absolutely. And that is caused by some of this failed policy, the Democrats. So it's the Democrats' death spiral. They're in control. They've been in control. For how long? Jack 42 out. years for Madigan. Four. Many more years for the whole party. Uh, uh, folks, there was a time when there was some honor in the Democrat Party. They're, that They weren't always useless like they are, or worse than useless. They're terribly damaging uh, to your financial health health the way it is. They mismanage the state into bankruptcy, and they own that. Uh, they got majorities in every political body, uh, from Chicago to the governor to the House and, uh, and the Senate in Illinois. They own it all, so they own this big piece of trouble. Never vote for any Democrat until this problem is cured. Well, people aren't going to be voting for Republicans or Democrats too much in the next year. Our next cycle, though, our next election cycle yeah. are school boards. So yeah. we were talking during the break and before um, about how school boards are very, very important to this specific issue because of these teachers' pensions. Mm -hmm. Is it true that the school board members vote uh, and have input on the teachers' salaries and contracts? Yes. The, with the 830 school districts in Illinois, there are 830 different contracts approved by 830 different school boards. So the school boards are the infantry. They're in the front lines. If they make a decision that's bad, then we pay the price. We pay the pensions. Is that for each individual, or is that the collective state that pays? Let's say one school board is fiscally responsible, then you have a very just spend the money school board. Does it get melded together? Yes, it does. So that what what actually happens is you have the the poorer school districts, the people living in the school districts with the low salary people, are paying state taxes to pay the outrageous pensions here in the six county area. So you got the poor people paying. It's, it's rob the poor and give it to the rich in Illinois. Oh, it's the opposite of the Robin Hood. Of and let's let let say that whole arrangement is run by which party? The Democrat, the progressives, the progressives the poor rob the poor and give it to the rich. The people are supporting the rich people. The people that are getting pensions of $14,000 a year are paying for the pensions of those that are typically getting 100, 200, 300,000, even $400,000 a year. Yes, that is so correct. So what, what is this, the Democrats presiding at, at a debacle where it's the poor people that pay for the privilege all their remaining lives for perhaps 40 years, they make more than they made when they were working. That's because poor people can't contribute enough to the politicians. Rich teacher unions can, therefore they listen to the teachers, they do not listen to the poor people. The, the, the teachers' unions. They don't really listen to the teachers, Bill. I would change teacher it unions. there. The <laughs> teachers' union. Yes. It runs this whole thing. They run it. They run, they run the whole state. Uh, you know, how do the teachers' union, the IEA, run the whole state? It's easy. They've been there for so long, and they've had help from the politicians. It was in about 90, uh, 1996 when the pensions became unpayable at the local level, so they shoved them up to the state level, and the Democrats uh, just happily uh, kept on spinning the price of pensions up, because along with that went their pensions, 
our, our legislators also get immense pensions, but that's another story. But they spend, spend those uh, the pensions up so high, they've become unpayable at any level. Meanwhile, Madigan is clever, so he's uh, trying to pass a law telling everybody, we will shove these pensions back to the local school districts where they, these people worked for these pensions, and the local people should now pay these pensions. Well, that's never going to happen, folks. That's just baloney from Madigan and the Democrats that that would be any kind of a solution. If they tried that, it would immediately raise all of your real estate taxes, and immediately a bunch of homes would go on the market, and the value of all of the homes and the whole damn state would go to hell if that were tried. So they can't do that. Mm -hmm.